Hello folks, welcome to another playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And uh, we'll see what I end up up to today, but remember I always really appreciate your likes, uh, shares, feel free to subscribe to my channel. But especially those likes and maybe telling people about me while I build that subscriber base. Don't forget to check out my website listed at the top there because I write fantasy books. If there's anyone here who happens to read those. So let's get on let's get on with today's adventure and see what I'm up to. Okay, I was gonna update everyone on what I've been doing, but while I'm riding around I ran into a situation here, so I turned the camera on. Lady down there at a crossroads saying, Please help me. Please. So, yep, please help me. Okay, so where am I? Samuel Pashmer Hall. I was heading down toward the main quest line. And I'm at this uh, little area here. And as usual, I anticipate trap <laughs> or someone trying to steal my horse. <laughs> yeah. Usually I anticipate trap. I can't go on. Is she going to try to steal my horse? That could be. What happened to you? Sir, if you only knew. He told me he'd marry me, even though his mother forbade it. And then they killed him. They killed him, the dogs. And his mother told everyone it was my fault. And now I have a child and we live like beasts in the woods. So I beg here at the roadside. Nothing else is left to me. Be merciful, good sir. I'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns. Haven't you got something for me, sir? Give something to eat, Groshen. Okay. Alright. It's sad in this game that I've learned to try to be so wary of just about everything. Uh, I can certainly give her something to eat. Come on, some, I'll definitely give her Let me see. Uh, boy, I only got the dried mushrooms. And the wine, of course. Uh, Yep, 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 okay. What about this? May God reward you for your kindness. Well, that seemed to go okay. Huh. I'm glad I had some food for her. You know, it's all my food, but man, I feel sad. It's like, can can this be pursued in any other way? I mean, what if I just followed her? I can always try to redo a conversation. No, just pickpocket. It's the middle of the night, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hard thing about torches is you can't see at a distance at all. Wow, she's got a long road to walk down. I would say a lot of times NPCs in this game, they might be involved in something, like one was involved in actually robbing me, but after I had been out of reach of him, out of range of him for a bit, he just seemed to forget about me and walk back home. I think that's what would happen here. She's just walking until she can like kind of fade away, so to speak. Uh, but, I don't know. Okay, so something funny just happened in the game. Uh, saw me give food to the beggar, and then I went to auto walk back along the same path I was. And it said there was a wayfair here, and it stopped me at the exact same crossroads. But as you can see, there's no wayfair here, other than the one that just went walking back down that uh, that road back there to the west. So it's kind of weird. The Wayfair was technically here, even though I just dealt with them already. So let's get past this point. 
All right, so after that uh, start, let's give everyone a proper introduction here. So since the last episode, I've been getting around doing a few things on my own. Um, I did successfully... Did I put it here? Yeah, I did successfully craft one bottle of Savior Schnapps. Uh, I, I was made aware that the, what is it, the Belladonna, that was it, only grew at a certain bandit campsite, but I found a uh, NPC that was selling some, and I managed to find one thistle just outside the uh, alchemist, so I brewed as an extra savior snaps there. Of course, while I'm working, I gotta look, is the horse got some, okay, there's two on the horse, so at least I know there's more around if I need. Now, that being said, too, <coughs> The horse is the other big thing. I decided it was time to go horse shopping. And in fact, you'll notice, yeah, my money took a hit. I'm under a thousand again. But I was looking all over. This is the best one I could find. This war horse Jenda. And where did I get her? Jenda sounds like her. Um, that's right. It was up at Mer Merohead. Mer Merohead. Oh, and of course I found this other little town here, Samopash. I already made some people happy up there. But otherwise, found her in Marrowhead. And uh, so now, as we look at the quest, uh, I may try to brew some more schnapps if I happen to see some on the way. But we're, what is this? Talk to the, oh, I accidentally talked to the overseer in Sasso. I did not mean to start this quest. Because I am, I am going to go on the main quest, uh, talking to the Rate scrub, Scribe, looking through the Black Chronicle. <coughs> as well as, I have a turn-in of, uh, you know, to Bernard about some bandit camps. And maybe he'll give me another one, and that's fine. So, that's what I'm up to at the moment. And now to get Henry a good night's sleep and some drinks. Ooh, fireflies. I was looking to see if it was something you could catch, like, you know, a Skyrim, you walk past, grab a butterfly. Use ladder? I didn't know I could go up here. Why would I want to go up here? Whoa! Yeah, if only to fall back off again, sheesh. Jesus, he has a snore. Let's maybe read a book. Henry, I'm glad you came. <laughs> Hey, reach new levels. I still can't totally read that right, but... So I still have Belladonna on me. Now that I don't need that book anymore. Good day, Henry! Yeah, I want to talk to you. Okay, let's... Pause and take a look here. So I'm just now walking into Rate to pursue the main quest line. And as I come up here, there's noise, there's weapons lying on the ground. And this guy, Henry, I'm glad you came. Why are the halberds just laying around? Let's, oh, we can't talk to him. As far as I know, I didn't pick any fights with anybody. Let's see, where is Sir Bernard? He's out the training range again. Alright, well... I guess I'll go that way first. Okay, we're gonna start some alchemy here. And brew a Savior Snaps. Alright, now... 
Let's read. Let's make sure I have it down right. Um. Oh, it is nettle, not thistle. Well, I'm glad I didn't buy a whole bunch of thistle. Because I had nettle. And two belladonna. I have two. So. All right. Line two hand turn, and one of nettle. Two turns, grind the belladonna, and then for one more turn. Okay, I got it. All right, so now to set things out. Up here, uh, we're going to do inventory. We're going to select the belladonna. And we're going to select the nettle. All right. Then we use the wine. All right. Now we put in the nettle and we boil it for two turns. Just one sprig of nettle. All right, so we can do the bellows. The sand glass. The bellows again. Sand glass. So that's two turns of that. Now while it's doing that, I'm going to grab the belladonna. Oh shoot! I did not mean to do that. I wasn't actually boiling, so hopefully I didn't screw it up. I probably screwed it up, so we'll find out, won't we? Alright, so... Use the pestle. Let's grind this up. Now, into the cauldron you go. Alright, now one more time with the bellows. And do the sand glass. Hoping I didn't ruin it turning over the sand glass once, even though the thing had already run out. And now. Uh, oh, yeah, a file to grab one of those. This will complete the potion. Did I do it? You brood, save your snaps. There we go. And a new level in alchemy. Alright, so the next step is I still usually have the horse carry some of this stuff. So, again, I'm going to move to the horse. Your horse can't carry anymore. Oh my god. What all is on the horse? How can he not... Oh! Okay, he must be limited in how much Savior Snaps he can carry. Or how much food, because seriously, this is... This is... This is not much him... Oh. Tack. He's got a saddlebag. Info. They should give you a slash saying what his total inventory is there. Cause, see, he's not carrying much. I must just be limited how many potions I can throw on him. Okay, so into what I was doing. Skills. Now I've reached some skills. So let's see what we got. One is alchemy. Interest Witcher. Okay, well, let's see here. Info Curator cooked food in your inventory will spell 20% more slowly. 
Well, that's not too bad, except I typically don't cure cooked food. Otherwise, that would be a nice one. Healing potion of oh, but will also intoxicate you. The stronger the healing, the drunker it will make you. How many healing potions do I got? I think there was something I had that was, uh... Well, that's funny. And Witcher. Oh, potions will fill you up 3% less, means you can drink more of them more often. Well, I don't drink potions too much at all, so let me think. I, I guess having this effect, and eventually I will just cure cook now. You know, water of life. Who cares if I get a little drunker? Let's go with that. Horsemanship. ride down here. Oh, what do I got? Dread Steed. If your horse is wounded, it will run faster. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Rider on the storm. Oh, okay. Extreme execution of storms, but dry less. For the most part, that's pretty good. It doesn't rain too much. Range of melee weapons. Now, obviously nice, although the one time I tried to hit a guy from horseback, I did terrible. It's actually hard to do mounted combat. Your horse won't shy at nearby foes, at least as long as no one hits him. Oh, so in case you're in a battle, but they're just not hitting you. And maybe I'll just have to practice riding my horse more. Went riding after Baron and he moved on me. Good health to you. And good health to you too. Alright, I took care of that camp. I'm taking care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Oh. That is a nice bit of there news. You go. It looks like your work is done here at Ratai. I haven't heard of any other camps. Oh, wow. We may finally have some peace and calm. Good work. Thank you, Captain. So that's where I'm at, but no there could be other places. I've sent word to Captain Robard. They're expecting you at Talmberg. There are human hordes rampaging through their woods. Very well, Captain. I'll set off immediately. Glad to hear it. Oh, there we go. So we're gone. Okay. Hey, I got more stuff to turn in, though. Hand over the trophies. I have some, uh, trophies. Let's see. Bastards deserved it. <laughs> I wonder if I'm up to training with anything. Oh, that's interesting. Training combat would definitely be nice. The, um... I like to learn combos. Master Strikes. Hmm. I might come back a little bit for this stuff here. I know it's going to turn around, but if I'm going to be facing camps of cumans and they tend to be more armored, it's time I worked on this uh, mace skill with my hammer. So. I'd like to train. But I want real combat with real weapons. A bit cocky, ain't you? But all right. I like a man with a bit of piss and vinegar in him. I never learn as much with a wooden sword as with a real weapon. The old master swordsman says a true apprentice of the martial art should be wounded at least once. Some say he should even try what it's <laughs> like to die. But that's blasphemy. Let's fight, then. Have no fear. I won't kill you. But you might get hurt, and if you do, I won't bandage you. You'll have to deal with the consequences yourself. What weapon will you try? Oh, so at least I can try the other stuff here. Oh, interesting. I'll try the mace. The armor smasher. And, of course, yeah, I'm going to take a shield, too. And I'll take a shield, too. Right, lad. Grab your piece. We'll get stuck in.
Am I? Okay. Uh, here I am just trying to see if I'm even... Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. Oh. That was a weird sound. Oh, he's pretty good. Oh, I should have deflected against that one better. Now you're done for. Oh, I actually kicked him out on that one. Oh. His thing is bloody. Oh, I went for the block and still mess it. He's messing up my head, man. Oh, shoot. I saw it coming, I couldn't get it in. Oh, he's, yeah, he's nailing me good. <laughs> yeah, he smacked me around good there. So, just a head wound. I did get better in some stuff during that exchange, but man. Actually, what can I do for food? Well, I can't actually do much. Oh, I had a healing potion, I think. Was it this? Yeah, let's do it. Or was it E, apply? Oh, shoot. I lost my uh, one buff because I drank too much of that. Nourishment, yep. But it's healing me up. Let's let it do its job. Now practice a little more. There we go. Ready to go another round. <laughs> Look at my face. I'd like to train, but I want real combat with real weapons. A bit cocky, ain't you? I never learn as much. Some say you should even. Let's fight then. All right, back to the mace. I'll try the mace, the armor smasher. And take a shield. And I'll take a shield too. Right, lad. Grab your piece. And we'll get stuck in. So at least I'm going to start with it. You asked for it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. Curse it. What? What was that? What's that supposed to mean? Ow. Oh, landed one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him into a clinch and do something. He's normally better at me. Oh. Up. I was hitting and now oh well. Oh, 
Oh! He switched his shield at the last moment and... This won't take long. Oh. Oh, I got one. Oh, hey. You used the perk headcracker? I don't even remember what that perk was. Oh, there I am again. This is a good fight. There I got a new level in mace. Oh, ow. Oh, I managed to block his second strike. Oh. Doing a combo. Oh. Didn't quite block that one. Oh, there you go. There you go. Get him against the fence. Oh. Where is he? Oh. Ouch. Oh. This this is good though. Man. Oh. So I thought for sure he was gonna strike there. Oh, I should I saw that coming and should it Now you're done for Oh. Come on, I'm ready for you. Uh oh. Shoot, I put on the defense, but he was. God damn! <laughs> You'll pay for that. Ooh, tapped him on his helmet. Oh! That was perfect. Oh, ho, ho. We get a little better there, even with Bernard. Whoa. Bollocks. I'm getting his number a little more. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll call it there. Oh, gee. Takes a while to surrender. Alrighty. Oh, that was a good fight. That was a good one. Well, I can like hear the blood pound in the ears. I don't think I'll use the potion this time. I think, uh, like I say, this is kind of a little more, uh... Boy, how bad do I look. I can still hear, like, the blood pumping in my ears. Did I get any skills? Ooh, stats, I did. Agility. Let's see what we got. Fast striker or light armor? Hmm. 
They'll demand less stamina, but will cause less injury. Applies only to weapons that are based on agility. If you're not wearing plate armor, be 50% of your dodge strikes in combat. Well, that would normally be pretty nice, except I usually have some plate armor on. Maybe it... Uh, well... Hmm. Do I dare risk... Well, it looks like the risk is a bit of a benefit, because usually what holds you back is not wanting to lose too much stamina. So I'm going to go ahead and learn that one. Yeah, back to do back to town doing a few quests. I noticed Cornelius, and I'm wondering if he has anything to inquire about that job that I'd given these guys a little while back, or anything to complain about, I should say. God save! What can I do for you? So, how are you doing? Oh, it's awful. The work is hard, and the folk won't talk to me at all. They look down their noses at me. Oh, well, he's oh, hollering. Worry about it? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as the mines are working again, everyone will forget about all this. Okay. So, a little continuity from before. I'm kind of looking for Baron because I have something of his. Well, that's Baron's wife, but I need Baron. Is that him? No? So Baron's wife was sleeping with someone else. Okay, good to know. Oh, I can find. There's Baron. Maybe he'll talk to me. Uh, leave me be. I want to sleep. All right. If you insist, I'll try to come back to you later. Reason I was trying to look for Baron in the first place is I did find I'd put his cup in my trunk, and I want to talk to him about it. I also was checking out my ancient maps and I found this one here which is you know just south of Neuhof down by that one um, that charcoal burners camp and just maybe in the woods there so something that's not too far away if I consider doing it okay so the other thing I have now is to talk is the main quest line to talk to the Rate scribe. And maybe inspect the documents. Okay. You know, the documents must still be still above me because they're they're B on the thing here and they're higher up. Oh, that's lockpick. Very hard to get there. Okay, so some of the documents I need are in a place that I just can't access too well. Unless, say, I was to pickpocket the scribe. Always an option. Pocking successful. Yeah, but execution is book. Well, it says act to go by the book, but. too much to go by. I might still talk to the guy. 
I mean, I've got these clues here, but I had to glance at them so quick. All right, I am going to temporarily hop out of the game to more easily look over those screenshots I just took. <laughs> I'll be back. So according to this, Tonda, who I know here in Scalettes, one of the refugees, uh, did ride with Lumpy Labosh and Rod from Shrines, and apparently Riki was involved as well, which I believe is one of the guys I boxed here. So, I can check with them. So cutting this a slightly shorter episode before we follow this main track. So it looks like from this journal, uh, we can go look at Tonda or Riki, but there's still the option of talking to the uh, the it was the bailiff or the note keeper, wh whoever here, and maybe get more of the story. So it, it seems like the game's offering two different routes so we could still do it. I tend to like to go both ways, but see you next time what I do. Uh, I really enjoyed, uh, like I said, it was a pleasant distraction to duel with Captain Bernard that long. I'm really glad I did that second match. He's actually doing better than him, but he's clearly got me beat. So I won't be picking fights with him in the near future. So thank you for watching. Tune in for more episodes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're not uh, used to this channel.